Hey guys, how's it going? All right, I'm back with a new video here. Um, I've had some pickups that have been sort of accumulating, and now I have enough uh, stuff that I feel like I can make you somewhat of a pickups video at this point. Um, so let's just get right into it. All right, so first off, I picked up a copy of Tremors in Ultra HD. Now, of course, this isn't the North American version that you're used to seeing. This, of course, is the UK version. Um, it's from Arrow Video, of course, but it is uh, 4K, so I know I can, you know, I don't have to worry about it being uh, region locked or anything like that. But um, I did have this on DVD years ago, and a um, co-worker borrowed it with a bunch of other movies, and we lost touch. And uh, anyway, I never got him back, long story short. So I've been meaning to replace it for a while, and I finally got a good uh, price on this. So I, I picked it up, and it, it recently came in. And uh, kind of a sad story, uh, recently I heard about uh, Fred Ward passing away. And uh, I mean, you know Fred Ward from Tremors, of course. He played, uh, he played Earl opposite Valentine, Kevin Bacon. Um, yeah, he was really great in that movie. I really liked him in that. He was in a ton of movies, actually, but uh, really loved him in Tremors. And uh, there's another movie uh, called Secret Admirer back in the mid 80s that came out where he was uh, Kelly Preston's dad. Uh, Lori Loughlin is in that as well and C. Thomas Howell. Uh, my sister was a big C. Thomas Howell fan back in the day so I sort of got exposed to it that way but I, I actually always enjoyed that movie. I thought it was good. A lot of good stars and it actually has uh, Casey Zemesco in it as well and uh, Dee Wallace is actually in it too. So that's kind of cool. But uh, Fred Ward uh, plays, uh, what is this, Lou? I think it's Lou Fimple, but anyway, he did a great job in that. He plays a very convincing uh, detective, or cop, I guess. Yeah, I was sad to hear of his passing recently. That sucks. It was back on, I think it was May the 8th or so. Just wanted to mention that. Uh, rest in peace, Fred Ward. Yeah, great actor. Sad times. Um, also recently, the Friday the 13th Part 3 Steelbook came in. Now, uh, I know a bunch of you have been waiting for this, um, you know, through Best Buy. I got mine through Best Buy. But um, if you have the first one and two, actually, I have those two. I pulled them aside. First one here, right? And then you got the second. And, of course, now they have released the third. So sort of collecting the steelbooks as I go. They're not, uh, they're not badly priced if you can get them early on. I know they're, uh, they're hard to find after a while and the price can kind of go sky high on them so if you can get your hands on a on a steel book that uh, you have your eye on you should definitely grab it ASAP as a rule anyway that's usually how it goes but uh, yeah part three came out so it's new newly remastered for blu-ray of course it's pretty much the same deal that would have come in the in the big Friday the 13th set that I have uh, right back here so look at it there just give you a better look. Anyway, yeah, so it's uh, kind of a nice one. I like the job they did with this. It's just uh, following the same theme as the original posters of the movies, so they look pretty good. So that was pretty much it for the new movie pickups, but uh, I did have a few different shirts come in that I got a while back, and the first one is from a very familiar green bag company you may know. Our friends at Cavity Colors. Oh yes. So let's take a look and see how they look. All right, and as per usual, there are a few goodies inside. There's my receipt and that looks good. The Cavity Colors Monster Club sticker as per usual and a new bookmark as well. They always like to throw these in. Got a few of those, so that's pretty cool. Um, okay, so let's take a look at these t-shirts. Okay, first one up. Oh, it looks like this is the original Evil Dead. Okay, so this is Evil Dead 40th anniversary. Such a badass looking print. That is so cool. Check this out. Look at that. 
That is some badass artwork. Good old ash right in the middle. That is awesome. I love the looks of this. Badass. Okay, and let's take a look at the Evil Dead 2 version. And my personal favorite, I think I've mentioned a few times, of the series. Oh, man. That is so badass. Look at this. Look at how awesome that looks. What a print. Man. I have some really solid Evil Dead 2 shirts going on. That one from Fright Rags that Justin Osborne did is just deadly, but this one is super cool too. Wow. Love the font on Evil Dead 2 there, the way it's done. Dead by Dawn underneath, that's just perfect. The artwork, Henrietta. Oh man, Ash looks amazing. That is bad ass. There's one more t-shirt that came in that I ordered a while back that I believe my friend Richard Diaz also got on his channel. Um, had to get this one. Me being a big Freddy fan. And I don't really have anything at all for Freddy's Revenge. And this is a Gutter Garbs release. Our fine friends at Gutter Garbs put this sucker together. Oh man, it already looks so badass. It's the right size. Okay, let's take a look at this thing. Oh man, is this ever incredible. Look at this thing. Oh man. Gorgeous t-shirt. Really cool. This might be... Uh, I think this might be my favorite Freddy t-shirt I have now. The Man of Your Dreams is back. A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. Freddy's Revenge. That artwork is gorgeous. You got Grady screaming on the left there. Lisa. Freddy, of course, in the middle with that Kevin Yeager incredible makeup job. Robert England doing his thing. I don't think Freddy ever looks scarier. Although I've never been a huge fan of the blades coming out of the fingers. I thought they probably sort of decided on that just for the effects because they can make it look kind of cool. But I don't know. I was just always a fan of that glove. It's just cool that you put it on and it's like a... All right, and finally, I wanted to show you something I picked up a little while ago as well. This was um, from a place called um, Middle of Beyond. Um, I don't really get a lot of stuff from them because generally it's pretty expensive, and of course, shipping's usually really expensive. But they have some of the coolest flannels I've ever seen, like really nice flannel shirts. I like my flannel shirts for sure. It's not exactly the season for it right now because we're starting to get pretty warm here. But uh, I'm always down for flannels, and uh, there's a few I've been after for a while, but I just, I never went ahead with them because they're, they're pretty pricey on their own. They're, you're looking at about 75 bucks a shirt. So they're not cheap, but uh, they had a sale a little while back, and I got a wicked deal. So I picked up a couple of them, and uh, what I ended up getting, well, the first one I'll show you is this one. Now, these, these flannel shirts are they're movie themed so you know this looks like a regular cool blue flannel shirt you know almost like a day live kind of feel and they might have that one as well but this one is a robocop version i know robocop isn't horror but i really like the look of the flannel it's super cool and uh you know it's got some trim in here as well like around on the inside and in the pockets and under the cuffs and stuff so it's really neat so i've just been looking forward to have a look at this thing so I'm just going to open it up and let's take a look. Okay, so here is a look. Really like that blue, that's cool. But anyway, if you look at some of the details here, you can see like under the pocket, you have right here, Emil, the toxic Avenger himself, right there. Help me. <laughs> so, you have stuff like that, plus you have the uh, the artwork on the inside of the cuffs, like like so. So you got RoboCop in there. 
Yeah, I picked this one out more because I really like the blue. I just like the way it looked. Uh, it was the nicest looking one on the website. Um, I'm hoping they fit well. They look like they do. Like this looks right for me. And I did uh, check all the measurements and stuff. Like normally I wear extra large, but judging by the measurements and everything, I should be getting a large and this looks right. So I guess we will see. But yeah, that is the first one. Very nice looking flannel. Feels great, really soft. Like hasn't even been washed yet and it's really soft. Okay, now moving on to the other one. Now this was the easiest decision, okay? Cause the other one was totally based on the flannel itself. I just really like the look of it. They have so many flannels though, you'd be shocked. I mean, they have, they have Ghostbusters, they have, you know, Evil Dead, um, all kinds. You gotta check them out. That's uh, middleofbeyond.com. You can find them all there. Just look under flannels. But uh, they have a whole bunch. And there was one that I absolutely had to have because of course, it's my favorite. And it's in my favorite colors, of course, as well. And this one is, as you may have guessed, none other than John Carpenter's 1978 Halloween. So, of course, orange and black flannel. I know some people might think, oh, it's hideous, sort of a rust color, but I love orange and black. They are my favorite. Um, ever since I was a kid, not even, not even because that's really the official colors of Halloween, just because um, I just love the color, I always have, it's crazy. Anyway, so as you can see here, it has the flaps as well. You have the pumpkin here. And you can just lift the top up and peekaboo, there's Myers. Same thing with the other side. And on the inside of the neck here, you see we have the pumpkin with the knife off the cover. And same thing on the inside of the cuffs as well. Now this thing is nice. This is really soft flannel, you guys, seriously. Like this already feels so nice and soft. And I mean, I'm pretty picky with my flannels. And I've had some stuff that's just coarse shit that just is not comfortable. And this already feels so nice and soft uh, before I've even washed it. So that is pretty awesome. But here's just a better look at it here. Of course, you have Halloween right there at the bottom sewn on there. Same thing with Robocop, if you noticed on that one. Also has it. It's really nice flannel. It's 100% cotton. Um, so likely uh, I'm going to have to wash it in cool water or it is going to shrink on me. And we don't want that because I'm sure this is a perfect size for me right now. It just looks great. So I'm really looking forward to wearing this. I can't wait. All right, well, that'll pretty much do it for all the pickups for today. I do have some other uh, stuff coming, like I haven't shot my uh, Halloween t-shirt video, which would be my last one of my series of horror t-shirts that I was doing. I haven't done the Halloween portion yet. It's a really big collection. It's probably twice as big as any of the other features I've done. I probably have to do a couple videos or else one kind of longer one. So I don't know if you guys want to see that or not. Let me know if you actually want to see it. I mean, I could do it sooner than later, but otherwise I'll probably just put it off for a while. Uh, but uh, yeah, that is something else I am working on and I have a couple other projects on the go. And of course there is a lot of new additions that are gonna eventually be coming. Uh, my kills mask should be done fairly soon. Um, it's the middle of May right now. I mentioned it was May 17th. So the horror con is June 25th, which I think it's June 24th, 25th and 26th, but I'm going on the 25th anyway. So um, I definitely expect to have the coveralls and the mask and everything all ready to go by then. So uh, that should be coming and I'm definitely excited about that as well as the kills coveralls that I had uh, Remy weather for me. Um, those are also going to be there as well. So that is something that I'm looking forward to. I also have a couple other items in the cosplay division there that are coming for the future. So um, they're just a little bit further down the road, but definitely some cool stuff to look forward to. So hopefully I can show you that stuff soon enough. And so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. So thanks so much for watching and we will see you guys again for the next one. Take care.